Greetings everyone, Apocalypse Hub here. I'm doing a uh, follow-up review on the Medium Transport Pack, the Rothko bag um, that I uh, featured uh, about a month ago. So it's been uh, about a month and a half, I'd say, of uh, everyday use. And uh, so far it's been holding up pretty well. Um, it's been very durable, very comfortable, and it seems like the more I use it, the more broken in it gets, and it's a little more pliable, if that makes any sense. Um, the one main issue I had with it prior to um, using it on a daily basis is this little uh, stitching problem here. This is a really bad stitch job I did, but it gets a job done. Um, this part, if you watch my first video, it actually started fraying. So I just wanted to fix that before it went all the way to the other end. So I just did a quick stitch job of it, and it's been holding up since. Um, it really sucks that, you know, within 24 hours of purchasing it was already fraying here, but maybe it's just a manufacturing issue still though. It's not something you want to see on a newly purchased product. Um, but aside from that, I didn't, I didn't um, encounter anything else as far as stitching goes. Um, I kind of inspected it weekly. I expected it to be... Um, falling apart based on that, but actually no. Um, these little zipper ties that I said I didn't really like, I prefer the little uh, YKK little metal tabs. It doesn't bother me, really. It's it's fine the way it is. Um, plenty of storage. I've used this mainly for school. Um, you know, it's usually packed with books. Uh, at least about maybe a, a really heavy textbook, maybe about this thick. Uh, this binder right here, usually carry this with me every day, um, and a bunch of other uh, paperwork, um, as well as I carry my lunch here too, uh, some miscellaneous uh, supplies, pretty much everything. It's got a lot of pockets, which. I've used quite a bit. Um, don't underestimate the low profile of it. It's very narrow. I like that. But you can actually carry quite a bit with this thing. Um, for work, I've actually been able to pack um, a pair of pants, a shirt, and a pair of sneakers uh, in this compartment. And fill it about all the way up to here, uh, with plenty of room to spare. So uh, if I could carry that and additional supplies in the other pockets, then I'm good. Uh, for the purpose that I use it for, it's perfect. Um, I would imagine this would be a great overnight or travel bag as well. Another thing I wanted to mention, these little compression straps. They're great actually, because I can cinch it a little tighter. I can get everything a little narrower, closer to my body. Um, I wish they had made another one for the upper part. Just for the extra kind of pull. Um, but even without it, it's it's fine. But it just seems like it, it could use it here too. If they had put one right here, you can just kind of pull it a little tighter. Um, on top of that, this little compression strap that goes across has done its job as well. Um, I haven't really had to buy any additional molly packs for this yet. Um, everything I need to carry with me on a daily basis I've been able to stash in here. In addition, I wanted to bring up uh, the fact that these straps have been holding up pretty well. Um, I usually use both 
just to stabilize my back. Um, but even if I'm, you know, on the go and just you know, on a rush, I just kind of sling it on one shoulder. I use this one. It seems to hold the weight pretty well. Although I do like to use both. Um, extra compression straps, it helps, but I don't really use these. Uh, I've used the adjustment part here quite a bit. And I've used the, the lumbar and the chest straps as well. Um, and it's, it's really, really easy on someone's back. Which is the main reason why I started shopping for a new pack, because my messenger bag was killing my feet and killing my back uh, with the weight I was carrying around. So this one is holding up pretty well. So after about a month and a half, close to two months worth of daily rigorous use, I take the subway, I walk quite a bit, and I usually carry at least, I would say, at least 12 pounds in this thing every day. Cause like I swear I, I think my one of my textbooks by itself is like 10 pounds or 12 pounds, so uh, it's it's a lot of weight to carry around. But um, this has been pretty nice. So that's my update review for this. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else I'm forgetting to mention, but um, I think I've got everything. Compression straps are great. Um, the shoulder straps are great, the compartments are pretty roomy, doesn't look like much once it's it's strapped down, but that's the whole point of it. Um, and I like the extra pockets. Um, and I think that's it guys. So that would be my follow up review for the Rothko medium transport bag. Oh yeah, before I forget to mention, it is it is pretty uh, pretty waterproof. Um, I was worried about it one day because it was it was pouring outside, and I had uh, lost my umbrella, of course, and uh, I had some electronics in there. In this medium, well, not medium, in the middle compartment, and uh, I was worried it was going to get drenched. But uh, as soon as I got into the subway, I was checking it out, making sure my books were not ruined as well as my electronics and uh, actually it's it was pretty darn dry in there so uh, would I recommend this stuff? yes absolutely um, for 40 bucks I mean that stuff you can't beat that really uh, it comes in multiple colors uh, it's nice to look at I think I like the color um, it's multifunctional. You can use this for traveling, uh, for camping, or even for your EDC, your EDC bag or your bug out bag or what have you. Me, I just use it mainly for school and getting around the city. Um, yeah, and and the price for it is forty dollars at my local Army Navy store. Um, like I said, the only complaint was the poor stitching over here, but. That's pretty minor in the scheme of things. So, um, anyway, let me conclude this video before it gets too lengthy. Uh, this is Apocalypse Hub. Um, until the next vid, don't forget to subscribe, check out my blog. Um, probably gonna do a couple of uh, tech or gadget videos uh, in the next couple of weeks. It's been very busy around here. But I have a lap. I should have a laptop review and uh, a tablet review and a bunch of apps to to review as well. Um, on top of my EDC prepping book movie review combination that I do for this site. So um, until next time, thanks for watching.